I'm Anil Kumar and here is solution of question number 4 from your quiz on absolute maximum and minimum. After a football is punted, its height h in meters above the ground at t seconds can be modeled by h of t equals to minus 4.9 t square plus 21 t plus 0 0.45 where t is greater than or equal to 0. When does the ball reach the maximum height? what is the football's maximum height. So to find the answer for this we need to find derivative of the function. We have h of t equals to minus 4.9 t square plus 21t plus 0 0.45 and we know t is greater than or equal to 0. So h dash of t, so rate of change of height with respect to time we are doing right will be minus 9.8 t plus 21. Now at the turning point where the maximum is reached the ball h dash t should be 0. So this derivative is 0. We are trying to find the critical number. So it will be minus 9.8 t plus 21. Now let's solve for this. So we have 9.8 t equals to 21. t equals to 21 divided by 9.8. So that gives us 21 divided by 9.8 equals to 2.14. Let us say 2.14 seconds. So after t time t 2.14, we get the maximum height, correct? So what is football's maximum height? To find the maximum height, we'll substitute 2.14 in the equation. So we'll find h of 2.14 to get the answer. So that is minus 4.9 2.14 whole square plus 21 times 2.14 plus 0 0.45. Correct? So let's calculate this answer. So we have uh, 2.14. So we'll approximately use 2.14. Okay? So let me do 0.45 plus 21 times 2.14 minus 4.9 times 2.14 square and that gives me 22.94 so approximately 23 meters right so so that becomes approximate height of the football right so that is how we can actually prove this now it is important to sh also show that at t equals to 2.14, this is indeed maximum. We have a couple of ways to show that. So it is kind of like this. Let's analyze h dash t. So we are given a critical point, which is 2.14. 2.14 is a point, right? If I take a test point, which is less than this, for example, take a test point, which is 2, and take another test point, which is 2.2. And if I substitute 2 here, then what do I get? Do I get a negative or a positive value? So 2 times 9.8 is less than 20. So I have a positive value. right? So on the left side, I have a positive value. right? So if I substitute 2, so I have a positive value. That means we are analyzing h dash t. So the rate of change is increasing. And... If I substitute 2.2, so what do I get? So if I 21 minus 9.8 times 2.2 equals to minus 0 0.56, we get a negative value, right? So the rate of change changes from positive to negative. It is 0 here, so that has to be maximum, do you see? So that is one way of proving that this point indeed is maximum. The other way is you find out zeros so that you know the domain, right? We know t is greater than zero, but we should know till what time this, when does it strikes the ground, right? So then you compare the height at all those points, and of course this will be the highest, okay? Because we're taking that as zero. So two heights will be zero. So what I'm trying to say is h of zero will be zero, and when the ball strikes the ground, let me write this. I'm not calculating this time. But anyway, when it strikes the ground, it will be 0 again. 
So that is the interval on which we are working and in this we find that 2.14 is indeed the highest value. Correct. So those are different ways of proving but it is necessary to prove by either method. I hope that helps. Thank you.